at all. Do I sound fine? Other than, well, the usual. Is the volume fine, is what I should say. And I'll lower this a bit, because uh, I learned from last time. <coughs> I'm a little bit under the weather, so my voice might start cracking up every 12 seconds. But other than that, we should be good to go. Yeah, almost 100k. Pretty wild. Pretty fucking wild. I'm just gonna let people pour in, so I don't have to do everything six times. So I'll just paint all the vehicles with my too many golden eagles in the meantime. And then once I am done, we should have enough people here. I'll try to keep up with chat, but it moves a little bit too quickly. Uh, Israel doesn't get anything as far as I'm concerned for this patch. Neither does Sweden. I haven't been able to find that uh, 5.7 yet. Is that not in the dev server? I couldn't find it. Or am I just tripping? It is something that I'm pretty good at. Well, yeah, Israel gets stuff for the, the ground tree, but... Yeah, it's the battle pass, but I haven't been able to find it, and I'm still on level 135. So it's not, it hasn't ticked over yet. I mean, they flew it in the... Uh in the dev server that they stream, so I reckoned it was also gonna be here. But when I go to Britain and I like look through it, I don't particularly see anything here. Wait. Uh, that's all tanks. Uh, yeah, as it looks like right now, the 29G just looks to be a better SMT. Uh, yeah, the Vark does have flares. It has like 32, 26. Large caliber though, and I think it's okay. If it stays at this BR, like 26 flares isn't that much of an issue because you don't run into that many good missiles anyway. 9Ls are completely flareable, so are the R60s. So really... You can't even see AIM-9Ms or R73, well, R73 from the uh, SU-25s are going to be an absolute bitch. But other than that, I don't think 26 flares is a big issue. Uh, yeah, the Gripen is confirmed for the last patch of the year, not this one. Let's see. It has too many bombs, but we already knew that. I wonder if we get something else than AIM-9Bs. I really hope we do, because I can't really see myself making a good video with this kind of loadout. But hey, we'll see. I wonder how it feels like. I haven't tested it out yet. I've only played it in like a custom battle for 12 seconds, so I can, you know, make a thumbnail. But other than that, uh, it felt pretty meh. <laughs> Thanks, Lee. Yeah, I can't uh, can't fault you. Everyone saying vark 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 every twelve seconds gets a bit old. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be testing out everything basically. All right, so I heard this thing guzzles fuel, so I'm gonna take. Uh, let's start with forty-five. We also get a new map. So anything new for Britain? Not sure yet. Yeah, I, I think it's only the, the low tier jet. Yeah, this thing probably gonna suck, but hey, we'll see. A, does it have a cockpit? It does not. Look how high I am though. Not because I'm... Okay, there we go. That makes more sense. Acceleration is a bit balls. Needs a cannon bomb. 
That's good. Hey, I'm not depressed. Well, okay. I'm not an aviator. Yeah, I dropped two flares at once. So that's gonna be a little bit unlucky. Accelerate. Yeah, I have a gun. Oh, I took the wrong loadout. Well, oh, I made it, but I didn't select it, so I forgot the gun. We'll get to that in a minute, alright? I'll just kill myself. I'll just kill myself like we usually do. And then we'll see how the gun works, alright? Well, at least the acceleration is constant. It's not really... It's not bad. It doesn't feel great though. I'm just gonna try to die as quickly as possible. So I can actually fly it out with a gun and see how it works, but we'll see. Aim 9B isn't decent. Not on this, on this kind of plane. Yeah, is it actually fastest? Yeah, there's a gun, Bob, but I haven't selected it. I'm not sure how to think about this plane. At some angles it looks really good. And all the... Mm, bitrate. Yeah, I can't really do much about that. No, oh, it's, it's going. It's going. What does it top out out? Uh, top out on yellow. Yeah, okay, this thing holds ass. I'm not gonna lie. S 1610! <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. But yeah. It's gonna be a bomb slay. With bombs on, it's obviously not gonna be this fast. And it does take quite a while to get there because it. It took me to halfway across the map to reach 15.5. 1550 I should say Oh look at my fuel as well Yeah this is gonna be uh, a bit of an issue uh, Yeah it's much faster than an F14 right now F14 goes nowhere near this Especially the B I'm already uh, It's a bit of an L I wonder what the retention is going to be like. Uh, I don't think China gets any aircraft now. When am I, when am I going to run into actual planes? I mean, they're all crashing anyway. Oh, there's one. I don't really care if I die, so I'm just gonna... Oh, the rudder actually works at Mach 1.3. That's kind of nuts. I tried, okay. Yeah, that does not gonna work. <laughs> I tried. Oh, the retention is horrible with the wing swept. Holy fuck. Alright, wings swept, don't even bother touching your keyboard, that's terrible, that is absolutely atrocious. Hero to zero, very real. I'm gonna get a kill though with an A9B, we are positively gaming. Let's see how it is with the wings swept out. Alright, because we know that with the MLD with like the wings swept all the way back, it's an absolute, it tanks all of its speed away. But with the wings swept all the way forward, it's actually very good. So let's see if this is the same. I mean, it's okay. I also have to keep in mind that this thing is a low BR. The turn rate isn't too bad actually. 
And obviously I'm fighting against bots and I'm gonna die to that hunter, but... Uh, this is surprisingly okay. I'm also on one minute of fuel, but that's besides the point right now. Please just kill me so I can leave. Okay, I need to bring more fuel. Yeah, it is at 1% fuel. But it shows that the plane isn't completely trash. To a degree. <laughs> if someone can kill me though, that'd be great. Because I do not want to get crew lore. On Jaguar. Fuck me in the ass. Yes, thank you. Now we can actually leave. I'm gonna get a gun now and take a bit more fuel. So it's looking like an hour of fuel is the absolute minimum. Yeah, I'll try the MiG-29 in a bit. It ain't much if it ain't Dutch. Ain't that the truth? Well, see, I made it, but I didn't select it. Now where the fuck is the gun at? Where's that barrel? Is it actually... Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, I sent the bottom, I know, but it's like, where's the barrel? How far back is it? Was more of my question. I know it's up in the bomb bay. I mean, that's the only... Nah, the, the update always comes fast in uh, winter. Ah, oh, this is fucking... It goes from one hour to two hours. <laughs> that's terrible. Well, let's see how much ammo we have. 2,000 rounds. I mean, I'm not going to complain about that one. Oh, we have a dumbass in our game. Yeah, fuck off, dude. I can't do anything anyway because I'm just going to break my gear off. Gonna try to stay on the ground for as long as possible. Till it says rip gear basically. Well, let's be careful that he doesn't aim 9 e us because I I can smell it. Alright. We are Gucci. It's gonna be one of those half afterburn planes, especially at the start. No, the cockpit isn't there yet. I'm curious how it performs with more fuel and a gun, because the gun is like one and a half tons. And I'm not sure how much weight 2000 rounds of 20 millimeters is. Hey CMG, thanks. Uh, grinding France. Well, it depends kind of what you want to do. Like, if you want to get consistent RP by just headbutting your face against the wall, the M Milan is pretty decent. But the issue with France is that it's all just kind of L until you reach the Mirages. It's a 10.3. Um, the grind for France is kind of wild. I'll, I'll look at the tech tree after this game, alright? But in my opinion, I'd get the Yak tree. That is like 800 GE. Like Glitch told me how much it is on sale now, so I know how much it is. If you don't know how much the, the Yak is, just ask him in my Discord. But it kind of depends on what you want to do. Uh, yeah, I will make a video on the sale, like I always do. But we'll look at the tech tree in a minute. Also, half after burner, it still goes at 11 or Mac 1.12, which is really good. This is the F1 uh, 11. I mean, this speed is pretty decent, considering a non full after burner. The issue is that I will bleed that speed instantly if I make any kind of maneuver whatsoever. 
especially with the wing swap back. I mean, look at this. We will go back to like 620. 720, sorry. Let's look at the nose authority, shall we? Okay. That, way, that thing is way slower than I thought it was. No biggie. I have to get used to this placement though, it's kind of weird. Not gonna lie, the plane doesn't feel terrible. Which is a good start, because I was expecting this thing to be absolute dog shit. Okay, if he does that, I can't hit him, but... I have plenty of... I, sh I need to be less ammo conservative, because I have 2,000 rounds. Seems okay at low speed, though. I think this wins versus the tornado. Without too much issue. Then again, the tornado holds its speed much better. Okay, this gun does absolutely nothing. Don't tell me they fucked with the Vulcan again. Oh, the gun goes way higher than I thought it would. Like, look, or lower, I mean. Look at that. Oh, higher. I have no idea where this thing goes. It's incredible. Let's eat a missile, shall we? Ooh, that's tracking better than it used to. Let's go into the terrain. Yippee. I mean, we're still going 700 after all that. So it's not too bad. Uh, new map so far looks okay. Plenty of cover. Still flat because of water. I think it's a good balance. And it's not too high like with... Uh, what's the other one? With the super high mountains everywhere. Not Pyrenees, but the other one. I like Korea. I'm, I forgot which one it is. The one with the mass one. Bourbon Island, I think. No, Bourbon Island. It's uh, that, that mountain is way too big and it gets in the way. I like this amount of cover. There's still a city in the middle. A good mix of like... Korea and city, I think. Now oh, this guy's hungry. It's also a bot, but we're just gonna ignore that. We're still going 600, which is quite okay. Let's see if we can tank that missile. Cool. This guy's still going for us. Ah, oh, fuck it. I do not care. This might actually be okay if they give this better missiles. Uh, that's music from War Thunder. I'm trying to not get copyright striked while playing the game. Uh, surprisingly okay. The only thing I don't really like right now is the fuel. And I have to get used to the position of the gun. Let's fold the wings out this time. Last time I was on very low fuel, now I'm on 20 minutes. I mean, this is surprisingly okay. I'm not gonna fault it. Oh, look. More hits. Yeah, the damage seems to be pretty ass. I'm gonna try the the ground belts after this. Maybe that's a bit better. Seems surprisingly okay. I mean, I, I am I am playing against bots that are like three entire BRs lower than me. But I also got nine kills and I still have 
a thousand rounds left. I mean, hey, it's pretty good. And the damage is pretty pissed, so... Uh, I'm gonna try one more. Oh wait, I'll... Is the guy that was looking for the tips about friends still here? I'll look at it anyway. So the thing with friends is... That up until this right here... So you have the Yak Tree that you can buy. Essentially all these planes are, are kind of mid. You have some exceptions. Ah, there you are. Like the, the VBs are kind of mid. The P63 is okay, but at 4.0 it's not really consistent grinder. If you want to fly a prop, and you only care about props, get the Yak Tree. No brainer. And then we have this right here. So if you want to get the Mirages, it's kind of... I would say get the F1C, not because it's a good plane, but because it's a good grinder. You have two Magic 2s, the Fly model did get a little bit buffed, and the Magic 2s got buffed last patch as well, so they are actually pretty usable. But keep in mind, you only have Defas, you have a pretty mediocre platform, the Mirage F1 isn't exactly fantastic. It's not good at dogfighting, it's not great at acceleration, and it's not that fast. And the missiles on this thing get fooled instantly by Jeff. Other than the, the Magic 2s. The Magic 2s are great right now. But that's all you have. So that's a bit of an L. The Milan. It's very good at rushing in. Bombing. And basically not doing anything after that. But I mean it's a consistent grinder. But I still don't recommend getting it. I would wait until the sales come around. The sales should come around in half November-ish. As well as late December. And then this thing is pretty decent for 70 bucks. Do not bother. It is completely overpriced. But if you want to go with the Yak 3. Get the Yak 3. You can grind all the way up until the uh, F8F. Or perhaps the FOU7. And then grind to like the, uh, the Barugan. Or the F84G. Probably a better pick. And then you kind of just work your way throughout the tree. But it's all kind of mid if you want to be... Just flying one plane, get a shitload of SL in the process. Just get this thing, quick matches, quick kills. Just don't expect the plane to be great in terms of flight performance. Just expect it to be decent when it comes to getting quick RP. And that's essentially it. Mm, I think the Kafir Canard is okay. But, big but. I don't think there's much to grind. Israel doesn't have much that you really want to get in my opinion. Oh wait, ground targets. If you really want to get a rank 7 premium. And it doesn't matter to you which one you get. Get the nation when you have the least amount of vehicles in that you actually want. If you don't have anything in America or Russia, I would say those two nations are the most worth the grind. And then I would say get the F5C in terms of the best matchmaker. Very good plane, very good platform. But it does rely on you to have decent aim, so you can use the M29s. Or if you want to get an actual top tier, get the MiG-23 ML. The, the F104S is good. The j 35 xs is also good. And the... Uh, Kafir Kanad is also good in terms of like a grinder, but I don't think there is much to get in those nations. So I don't think they're inherently worth it. Well, Germany is a little bit more worth it now because of the MiG-29G, which is basically going to be the best MiG-29. But the MiG-29 did get nerfed last patch, so I'm not really entirely sure what they're going to do with it. I'm not sure what happens with the Law 130. Kazuga Apple. I agree. Good premium jet for someone that's new. I'll eject uh, at the end here. See? It's the F5C from last game, isn't it? Uh, good jet if you are start. Probably gonna say F5C. F5C is in a good uh, transitional period. Where it's still a jet and it flies like a jet. But you are reliant on your guns, your positioning, and you do have flares. And you are relatively maneuverable, so you can kind of get used to the, the matchmaker. You can kind of get used to the speed of it. But it still kind of plays like a lower tier jet or maybe even a prop. 
in a certain way because it's it's reliant on its guns. It still feels, yeah, it's hella fast. It's on half afterburner. This uh, for clarification. So either F5C, or you could go for the what's another good one? I think F5C is just the most brain that one. The uh, Ariette is also a very good one for Italy. Just be careful when you get uh, up tiered into all aspect missiles. What's another good one? Can we see full? Yeah, sure. So, how you do full afterburn or half afterburn? You go to 100%. And now I'm gonna scroll up with my scroll wheel. I do one tick, and you can see it goes to 101%. Then I roll it once more. It goes into web, but you can tell by the fuel amount being used. It's not a full afterburner. Now when I press it again, or I press full throttle, look at that. Now I'm full throttle and my fuel will start spiking and I will start picking up speed. But this thing goes uh, 1610 in a straight line on 100% on uh, full web. Yeah, it can carry 50 bombs, I believe. But I don't want to do it too much because this thing runs out of fuel pretty quickly. Yeah, it burns fuel. It's the F-14 engines, isn't it? Now let's hope that the... Uh, uh, just set up your control so that so your scroll wheel is your throttle and then it's very easy. Yeah, it's a new map. It's like a good mix between Korea and uh, City. As well as some water. So it kind of reminds me of... Uh, Norway, Korea, and a bit of city in the middle. Uh, J37D at 11.3 is pretty decent. Will they break the game? Probably not, but they're gonna be hella annoying. Jade F. It's an only IR boat, so I don't think it's that fantastic, but it has good missiles and it has an HMD, so I think it's okay. Slow arm, motherfucker. Uh, the J29 should go up in December. I don't know where the tunnel is. So, no. Strike Master, I haven't been able to fly it yet. But the fact that it only has two 7.62s with 1100 rounds doesn't seem too great. Let's hope this gun is any better with ground belts. Okay. That was just bad, eh? Only hit like one shot. The nice thing about 2000 rounds is that you can just kind of hold the trigger down. And don't forget to go full throttle once you go into maneuvers, because this thing bleeds hella speed until it goes like 600 kilometers an hour. This is not gonna reach, but oh, I didn't actually fire it. A bit of an L moment. Okay, I'm gonna get slammed by AA if I keep that turn, so I'm gonna go a little bit to the other side. See if I get slammed by the hunter. I mean, it's honestly, it feels pretty decent. I was ready to rip on this thing completely. Oh, oh goodbye. The FGR, it, you're not gonna... No one can help you with the FGR, it's just a mid plane. Extremely mid even. Is she dead? Oh yes she is. Oh, 
Well, let's fly to the tunnel then, shall we? So I'll just eject. We can just hold the trigger down and miss all our rounds. Incredible. The flaps are like leading edge so they don't bleed as much speed. Which is great. That's pretty good. Alright, let's see if it has the ejection thing. The answer is no. Unfortunate! Alright, let's take a look at MiG-29, shall we? Drop tank, obviously, on 73s, wait, wait, what? What is that? Is that just the same thing? R73E? It's probably just the same thing, isn't it? I mean, we all know the ER by now. Uh, ET. These names are tripping me up, but. Probably just copy paste as they are usually with Germany. Uh, I'm using uh, Fort Wall, it's in the description. I mean, how much I sell, I have, you can see it. <laughs> They working on the pull ejection? Oh, that's good. I used to have much more, but I gambled it all away. I almost had 200 mil. But there's people with like 600 mil, so I'm still nothing. I'm just getting this map now, aren't we? What plane would I like to see? F-15 at uh, General Lee. MiG-25 as well as the MiG-31 are going to be absolute dog shit. Do not get your hopes up. I don't work at the moment. I took a bit of a break. Should be going back to work uh, relatively soon though. I doubt that plane goes 900 kilometers an hour, does it? Alright, I'm gonna cave actually. Like sure. Rectangular looks worse, but it's much better. Yeah, the, the gripping has been confirmed. I haven't done what? Oh, I don't have the full client. I thought I did. Oh look, it's F-15E. Uh, map is big, but it's not... I mean, I think it's about the same as the other big map. It's indeed Lee. We already have the Typhoon in the game. We have two Typhoons even. I just checked it, it's not there, my guy. Yeah, look, a 15E. The Typhoon is already in the game, dude. There's three of them even. The Mark 1, the Mark 1B late. As well as the Mark 1A. Yeah, but they were playing it in the, the dev server, so I thought it was gonna be available for us as well. 
I guess not. You do not grind with the FGL, it's a bad plane. If he doesn't see us. Uh, okay, he just misses. Cool. dealing with that but I kind of have to because he has aim 9 amps all right let's see if we can flare it shall we nope that's an aim 9 l oh I didn't cut I thought it was an aim 9 m so I didn't bother cutting my afterburner but people still use aim 9 l's for some reason this stage into the game that is a massive skill issue If I had known there was an AIM-9L, then I would have played it... Oh wait, I could have known because it of course has a missile trail. I don't know what the XF-2A is, so I couldn't tell you. What am I excited for? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> the patch seems kind of dry, not gonna lie. I haven't played top tier in a while. I don't care where the F111 goes. I really don't care which nation gets what. I only care about what gets added, to be honest. Yeah, the S27 looks good. I like that plane. I get the GE from Gaijin for the, the death server. I normally I have like 23k normally I think. You shouldn't grind any UK top tiers. My favorite jet parked next to my house. Good question. F-22, easiest answer. Yeah, I don't have the cockpit loaded, so I can't show you. Yeah, the SMT kind of got shafted. I'm about to blow. Same dude. No. I'm not sure if it will be Top Dog. I think the F-16 still have a better flight model. I don't know what will be confirmed. I am not a dev. <laughs> and what I think, it doesn't really matter. I honestly have no clue. Favorite jet? I have no idea, dude. Like, all the jets are kind of shafted right now by all aspect missiles. All the missiles, all the jets that I like. I used to say, like, shield in B and stuff, but they're completely invalid now. Alright, where's this fucking tunnel at? Someone told me to fly through the tunnel. There? Oh, there it is. Time to kill ourselves, shall we? Attention. 
Now, if you can do this like mid game, it's gonna be an absolute baller move, but. Get like the entire team on your ass and you just fly through it. Oh, don't give me this Mac Cloud now. There's like a sign there as well. Holy shit, I'm bumping off the road. You have plenty of room down there, it's pretty easy. I didn't blow it up. Incredible. I almost slammed it into the roof though, so I'm not gonna pretend like I... <laughs> I need to dogfight someone. I have too many players in my team, look at this. I think this game is gonna last like 12 seconds. You know what, I'm better off just trying to... Just trying to feel it. This game is already over. There's too many players. It doesn't feel as bad as the S&T, that's for sure. Ah, this feels much better than the SMT though. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm capping. But for initial feel, it feels much better. But look at my speed. But when you looked at my SMT video... Uh, like, whenever I touch my controls, I would instantly go like 700. And I just did full turns and I'm still going around Mac. Yeah, it's basically an SMT without the shit fly model, but... I mean, you're free to keep grinding uh, UK, but you're also free to keep coping because it's uh, it's pretty shit right now. Yeah, we have a fucking four-man squad in the death server. Actual giga cringe. All right, let's see how much we bleed when we play normally. That's also why I ran away from the. Uh, um, F-16 in the last game because I felt like I wasn't going to be able to do anything to him But we now have a decent flight model Yeah, this is much much better Let's see if it stalls the same Yeah, that's ten times better. I'm actually kind of happy about that. But I also... Do we really need... Uh, I don't want to go on, on about this too often, but... I think we need to bring the top planes closer to the planes we already have. Instead of adding to the power creep over and over. But I also know that that's just how Gaijin does it. Yeah, it has ETs. Yeah, Fire, I was going to reply to your comment, but if you're going to spam like that, I'm just going to ignore you. Yeah, I mean, it's low fuel, but the SMT on low fuel still feels like shit. Like, if you have flown the SMT, even on, like, no fuel, you know it's a buzz. Uh, it's not a new flight model, it's the uh, the 913 flight model, basically. Mm, Mirage 2000, I think, is much better than the uh, J27. Uh, the FN F111 is gonna be 10.3. You didn't think I was live when I'm streaming the game. Bruh. How much G it cost to... So the thing is, that's what I do, because I don't play enough to... Oh, wait. Oh, no, wait, never mind. So, when you start rushing it, after a while they become 250. 
I think it's after like 20 skips. So the, the price starts to ramp up. Pre-recorded. The dev server went live like an hour ago. Not even. Abandon your daughter. <laughs> Never had one. Oh, it's Turbo now. Everyone say hello, Turnboat. What good, Bozo. Have you filled the engineering classes yet? Uh, the new merch is in the... Uh, it's in the description. You retired from the Dogwater game, yeah. You're having a much better life than I am. The merch is in the description. I mean, I don't really... <laughs> You sure are, Turnbo. Hey, do not disrespect my boy Turno, Turnbo like that. I'm a very strong pullout game. I've been dogging everyone's mother and I still don't have any children. Spamming his screens. Opinions on Germany. Well, they make good cars, so I like him. I basically only own German cars, so you know, there you go. Uh, the cockpit is there, but I don't have it downloaded. My first car was a Volvo S80 from 1999. That one kind of died after a bit. So I went over to an Audi TT 2.0. And now I'm driving a TTRS from 2010 with 470 horsepower. But I'm upgrading to an R3 pretty soon. Five cylinder is the goat, and you cannot tell me otherwise. Hey, the only reason I bought it was because it had a five cylinder. So that's why I'm going to an RS3. Okay, I drive, I drive a glorified Golf, so what? Still faster than yours. Not a grey is a cringe colour and you can't tell me otherwise. Everything is not a grey nowadays and it's... It looks like a primer. It doesn't even look like a... Proper paint job. I'm gonna kill myself doing this, but I do not care. Oh, he's already dead to the Olomec 29, isn't he? Oh, that's going into the clouds. So that's dead in the water. Kinda cringe. Come on. Oh, I hate clouds with a passion. And now I'm gonna not be able to fire it because it runs out a second. Okay, it doesn't. El Bozo.
Yeah, I'm gonna go with a... It's sprint blue, it's called, but like, without the blacked out stuff. Like, the, the blacked out, I think, is a little bit overdone. Everything these days is black on black on black. Like, they have black cars with black rims, with black paint, with like... Uh, what's it called? Like, even black emblems and everything, and then they even smoke out the headlights. Like, it all- it loses all of the definition of the car, and I think it's a waste. Uh, the MLA is better, by far. It's gonna hit, isn't it? Yes, it is. I just, I just think that black on black on black is, is a waste of the car. It, it loses all of the def definition. That's probably not even gonna hit, but let's see. <laughs> that will though, probably. Oh, this bull is actually dodging it. He's nuts. Not nuts enough. I'm not gonna play the P15H because I'm doing a death stream. I'm just gonna be showing new stuff. The cockpit is not there. I mean, I think electric, in terms of like a hybrid system, is good. Because you can like get the good fuel mileage, you have good acceleration, but you still have the sound of an engine. But the way that uh, Mercedes does it, for example, I think is a waste. Like the Eater 63 with a four cylinder and like the hybrid system only works full power for like eight seconds or some shit like that. I think it's just a complete waste. But it depends, I guess. I think the way to go is, uh, oh, it's a hybrid system instead of uh, like making stuff full, full electric. I'm not dealing with A9Ms from that aspect. If they are A9Ms, we'll see in a second, I guess. Oh, he missed. Oh, it's an A. <laughs> I thought it was a C. My bad. Bruh. It's an SMT, so I can't fault him. He's struggling. Let's just full commit him. Okay, I couldn't next you. Uh, unfortunate. Now look at the speed bleed of this plane compared to the SMT. I kind of want to dogfight an SMT in this thing. So much battle. Actually good. It's actually going to be a decent plane. Decent. Still pretty good. Why would I try the F111 or the F111 with 50 bombs? Uh, I want a dog fight. Let me see if I can get someone to dog fight. In the meantime. Let's see what we have. So we have the F111. Actually feels quite okay. I'm I'm not gonna look up to flying it. I think if it stays like this, I would prefer it to have at least AIM-90s, but we'll see what it gets. Germany, the MiG-29, I think is pretty solid actually. I think it's, it, it's just a better MiG-29 as we already have. 
Germany getting the best MiG-29 again is a bit of an L, but you know, what can you do about it? Russia, does it get anything? Don't think so. Britain gets the, what's it called? Something master, right? Sky master. What is my F? Uh, I'd say get the F5C mainly because it has more... Uh, what's it called? Oh, Striker. Because it has more to grind. The US Tech 3 has much more planes to get. Opposed to whatever the hell this is. Yeah, the Strike Master isn't there then. That's a bit of an L. Oh, this is an even bigger L. Is this a new skin? Oh, no, wait. This is the... Uh, that's why. Uh, Britain gets nothing, I think. Japan... I swear I saw something. My favorite BR, probably like... 4.0-ish. The issue is that it's XP 50s and y everywhere. Oh, it's an SPA, you're right. Uh, Italy gets nothing in terms of planes. Seems pretty dry for air content, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe next that server. Let's go for helis, because I've actually been kind of looking forward to the Blackhawk. It's a UA-60, right? Is it not here? Hello. MH? Still not there. No, it's not there. Ah, oh, it's not on the F, all right. Uh, thanks, there should be like an artillery thing, right? Uh, this thing. Uh, I'll look at the J-32 in a second. Damn. Don't you love to see it? It's shit against tanks, then what is it supposed to be good at? Damn. Okay, fuck this. Uh, Swedish. Ignore my tech tree. I'm stiff too, it's okay. Here's your cockpit. That should suffice, right? I mean, yeah. I meant in the game, like why did they add it? Alright, let's see. We have the F-111. I'll look at the loadouts again. They're pretty... There's a massive amount of stuff here. So you can go for... Where is it? I'm just gonna go for a load of snake eyes. Because they look cool. Oh. That seems like a bit of a waste for the internal. So let's go with the Vulcan in the middle. And let's see how we do. Uh, why do you want to get to rank 6 Japan? How many do I have? Is that 48? Yeah it is. Hello, Robert. Yeah, I know she rips pretty quickly. I should, you can probably take off like two uh, lines of bombs. 
And then you can still be hella quick. But now we can't whap as much, so we can go on to 45 minutes of fuel. Uh, no, you do not need to open the... The thingy. And no, it doesn't eject the cockpit. I mean, do you really want to grind all of Japan just for the F-16 AJ? Like, it's a great plane, don't get me wrong, but... It's also kind of cringe. What's with the amount of F-5C shooting upon taking off? Oh, fuck off, dude. Why would you keep getting these fucking retards in my game? Is he gonna follow me? Yep, he is. Luckily, he's the dumbest motherfucker you've ever seen. Yeah, I'm at like Captain Mac point nine. Uh, I'll check if you can swing the wings if you've actually jettis. Like if you actually dispose of some of them. Uh, also, for the people that are wondering, the gun just works. You don't have to open the bomb bay or whatever. Yeah, nuts excel dude, but I also have 48 bombs. We. I like that though. Looks so goofy. Wait, do they despawn the second I drop an... Incredible. Do they at least still explode? Oh. Alright, so if I drop two bombs... Alright. Do we see two explosions? Okay, so it's only visual. That's good. It is indeed <laughs> the size of a football field, you are correct. I don't even know how many I have to drop on this base. I'm not gonna lie with you. Go with like a lot, like seven. Is that gonna work? Hello? Oh, they're still falling. They lose that much speed with those little fins. I find that hard to believe, to be honest. Could be, but I don't really trust it. I do not trust it. He shouldn't be able to catch us. I'm just gonna drop everything and see if I can then sweep my wings, but I have a feeling you can't. Nah. So you are supposed if you run, you have to run it without uh, inner pylons, basically. Because now I can't sweep my wings. Even if I have dropped them off, because the pylons are in the way. Now let's see if I can dogfight this bozo. Ugh. And we go up over his nose, and he guns me down. Alright, we can do it. 
Do not F1. Oh, fuck off, you goddamn rat. Why is it always your teammates that they come in the second you don't need them anymore? They're never there. But the second you get someone killed, they, they come to lick it up. Dogfight in the Venom doesn't seem like a great idea, I'm not gonna lie. There comes the attacker. Yep, and there he is again. Mm. I mean, he's crit, otherwise I wouldn't be able to pull into that. Nice damage. Incredible. Any plane has detachable wings if you try hard enough. Or if you shoot them hard enough, I should say. How oh, did I miss that? Yeah, this amount of ammo is absolutely obscene, though. Yeah, there it is. We can still fly this. Easily. Yeah, it flies quite okay, even with one wing. See the detachable wings, just like I said. Uh, yeah, as of right now, you can only carry the uh, inline bees. Look how responsive it is, even with one wing. That's some bullshit, I'm not gonna lie. I reckon if I break my other wingtip off, it's not gonna do anything because I'm using flapperons or spoilerons. Sorry. It's a little bit sketchy to aim at one wing, but it's not too bad. If I pitch up after him, I'm probably gonna stall out and die. Yeah, can't do that. I do not play arcade, no. Am I still live? My game just... Okay, we good. It's not a worse tornado. It feels much, much better right now. But yeah. So if we take... Everything except for these... These what, sir? These nuts? Then I think... No, oh, it's still blocked. Is it the other one? I 
For bombing, yeah, but we don't do that here. Alright, we are gonna dogfight people. I'm gonna start off with MiG 29s. We are gonna dogfight the MLD in the Aardvark, which is definitely gonna go swimmingly. And we're gonna do 29 versus SMT. Ugh. So give me a minute as my partner joins in. Okay, I uh, decline you there and I will not dogfight him. It is that easy. Someone just made an offer on my car because I'm selling it. And he wants to trade it in for a Jeep Wrangler. And I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this. I'm not selling my car for shekels. I'm terribly sorry. Okay, I, I already know how this is gonna how this is gonna go. Yeah <sighs> British cars in general are a bit of an L moment. I think the most like out of every car I've ever seen next to the road, I think 30-ish percent, maybe even 40 percent, are fucking Jaguars and some Jeeps. There's a reason Jags are always so cheap, to be honest. Oh, I'm gonna rip my wings off. Okay, so we don't have missiles, so we can't off-ball R-73 me. Oh, Lord. I did ask Paul Airbrake a little bit harder than him, because he's a lot faster than us, but... 
Let's actually disengage a bit. I know this is not the right thing to do, but I want to equalize position a bit so we can actually see the difference. Because I air broke a bit uh, more than him. So I instantly get on a six. Now we should be roughly the same. Yeah, I just pull in. This is... Uh, unless I fuck it up, obviously. But this is essentially no contest. Like, I'm just pulling at him. I'm not even doing anything fancy. Total MiG-29 SMT dead. Yeah, this is absolutely unfair. Now let's see if we can just rate with him. Let's see what it does. So I waited a bit for position and I still instantly pull in. Yeah, this is... Uh if he is actually on min fuel, this is a massive help. Okay, the gun does absolutely nothing now. Which is fantastic. Ah, okay, Jake, thanks. Yeah, the R3S's are decent. But not great, they're not very good. But I'm from the Netherlands. Five V8. Nah, I don't like V8s. That might be a hot take. But I prefer smaller displacement. Mainly for the fuel mileage. And honestly, I'm just a massive five-cylinder sim. Sounds great. Good power. Don't use that much fuel. Whereas like a V8, sure, it sounds okay. Some sound really good, don't get me wrong. But like in general, they sound all too loud. And they just guzzle fuel like nothing else. Yeah, this is actually no contest. I'm looking at chat while I'm just holding the, the pitch up key. And I'm very easily, if he doesn't just slam me here because I'm doing five things at once. Even then, I can just pull out of the way. I messed up there, because I'm like looking at two things at the same time. And I still just pull in without an issue. Yeah. It's disgusting. Oh, not disgusting. Yes, it's just bad. Favorite prop? Hmm. Probably the Yak 3 u or the I-225. The, the F-16 just wins. It's still better. They should nerf the F-16s instead. I also really like the Hornet to actually dogfight people with it. Don't ask me why, I just really love that thing. I'm going way too fast into this merge. So I've already thrown it essentially. But let's see if we can pull it back. Okay, I broke a little bit more than him now. Keep stop pulling for a second. I think the 29A should be a little bit better, right? How am I supposed to make an F111 video when it's not even out yet?
No, I'm most improperly. He's gonna bite me in the ass right here, probably. Unless I can get out of his guns, but I don't think so. Oh, I can. Nope. Pulled a bit too soon. We are leaving. Not sure if it's me or the plane at this point, because I messed it up a bit. Most way too quick. Who am I one v wanting? Literally look at his username. It is just that easy. Yippee. Feels pretty similar though. I think that's mostly me messing up, not the plane. I'm glad I missed that, to be honest. So otherwise this fight would have been over already. Which would have been a little bit boring. In it. Now, I might have just fucked myself. We shall know in a minute. I did not. So Jake, you'd say it's the worst MiG-29 when not the SMT, right? So after the two good ones, basically. Pulled the wrong way. Because I'm looking at chat again. I'm not built for streaming. Yeah. Turned to uh, like 20 degrees wrong when he instantly gets a shot. Uh, he's in a normal one. The SMT just gets slapped. I mean, if he didn't wreck me right there, then I would have some questions for him. He should have killed me. Alright, no excuses. I'm actually going to look at the screen this time. I'll ignore chat as well in the meantime. The issue is that the uh, 29 that I have seems to be a little bit worse. Not much. But it does kind of edge me out. He moves a little bit slower than me this time. It's 65 kilograms. 
That's nothing, basically. I'm not sure if he has Ace Crew or not, because I keep passing out. I don't think he does, but... You may never know. Stop. Oh, my game tapped out. God fucking damn it. <sighs> I don't know why it keeps doing that. That's just tour time today. Favorite motorcycle, I'd go with the Fiber Blade Triple R. But in terms of what I want to ride, I prefer the Double R. SP. Nah, it's not a full screen issue. It's just. I keep getting pop up from something that I've uninstalled a while ago. I need to look into it more. It's like my old, uh, what's it called? My old antivirus. It just pulls in. I should be able to. I guess not. I guess not. I have no favorite top tier. Top tier sucks dick. It's not the flaps. Mm. Oh, fuck. That's right. Because of this shit. Yeah, he's going slower than me in the merch, but... S24 is not there. 29G is basically just a slightly worse 29A. Alright, this is gonna go horribly wrong, but let's see what we can do. I'm gonna bet on the F111, to be honest. No, let's take a look at the speed bleed, shall we? It's a massive L moment. But he should just be able to turn into this. Like, this is not... Yeah, it's not a winnable fight for me. He didn't shoot there. It's just to show what we can do. But he will just turn into me instantly here. Yeah, no contest. Let's try the flaps. I mean, the difference is pretty stark, but it's also not like... Like, if someone is bad at the game, you might be able to kill them kind of difference. But it's still not a winnable fight if the 23 has any semblance of a clue what he's doing. At least that's my first impression of this. He could have slammed me in the first turn, though. That's for sure. I'm gonna try to, like, slow down. Slowing down is, uh, seems to be quite easy in this thing. See, so like an average player would just pull underneath you and then you just gun him down. But Macro actually replies to what I am doing. I mean, yeah, it's field if. But. The 23 is also just a much better play. Just acceleration alone will absolutely slam me. 
Like I can't even get away from him really. I mean I'm faster than him obviously, but I mean in terms of if you can't dive away then you just die. See, because he doesn't go vertical, I don't get a shot and now I'm out of speed. Yeah, this is not winnable. At least not... I should have dived away here, but I can't really do anything other than hope that he misses this easiest pitch shot. Or maybe that works too. And then I kick my rudder. And we do nothing. I think F1... Ah, uh, Tracy works too. I mean, Mirage is probably gonna lose, but... I just wanna see. Pretty sure the tornado will just die. I mean, there's not many ground vehicles, is there? Uh, it fuel it goes through the fuel pretty quickly. I don't really have a favorite jet. Either SU-35 or the F-15 slash F-22 probably. But it's also a super boring pick. Yeah, fuel burn it, yes. No. Uh, no, 40 minutes is gonna not last you very long. I mean, retention, you've just seen it. Block 50 will just win. Probably. Nah, maybe not. But, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, two hours is too much and one hour is too little, basically. It's the, the gist of it. Mm, we'll see if it can find a phantom. I'll, I'll look at it after, after this one. Uh, no, death server is for everyone. You can just Google it. I'll do the tanks, but I can't really show you much else as you've seen what to do, because I'm not very familiar with how tanks work. As you might have realized by my channel, I basically only fly stuff. Just Google it, dude. Just download the dev server, that's it. Okay, first turn is a bit L because we are like far away. Good to know. I need to get position and drain his balls essentially. I wonder if he can stand on his engines enough to neutralize my speed advantage. I think you get a shot here. He needs to hit it though. He doesn't. 
Okay, this is risky. And he might be able to just pull in here, but I want to try it. Okay, this thing stalls like a fat bitch. Which makes sense, because of this one. And the Mirage has that disgusting low speed, essentially prop hang stall. Mm. Yeah, this isn't very ideal. I will insult my mother all day long because she is a bitch. Always has been. Cope about it. Yeah, this is a bit of a losing fight, really. Uh, nah, fuck it. Let's see if we can go a turbo reversal. Okay, that doesn't hit me, but whatever. But he's probably on min fuel. Can we spawn in, please? Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna play it a little bit different. How I would in an actual battle. We are gonna merge. Straight up for a little bit. Get some separation in this bitch. We are still going Mac, which is good. And then we put all that speed into use once we go slower. But he can just pitch up into us now. Let's see if this actually works, shall we? If he has missiles here, I'm kind of boned, but... Now, now we have position. Which is good. I am gonna look at ground stuff, just not yet. Now I can just kind of drain his speed until we get like a good solution. Because we have 200,000 rounds, we can just kind of... Like we are going Mach 1, but almost. He's going nowhere near that. And because you can merge at such a ridiculous speed, because this thing goes like Mach 1.25. We can just sit on this guy forever. And we are quicker than him, so we can just catch him if we need to. It's the fastest plane on the deck, yes. He does have a maneuverability advantage, a pretty big one at that, but... Is he gonna take it? Yes, he is. Goodbye.
The issue is that I will burn so much speed doing this. And I'm basically on the clock. Or so much fuel, I mean. Out of nowhere, we are gonna do the the Giga Suck Zero Throttle 2000 Round Spray. I think I think you can win given the entry speed that you have if they take the fight. No, it's not premium. God, we are both terrible. These flaps are absolutely ginormous though. It's kind of funny. There's a beast deep inside of him. Almost. Uh, Mirage 3C would play out largely the same though. Mirage 2K is gonna absolutely dick it. Twenty one biz is gonna be pretty sus though. Mirage Dude K is gonna absolutely slam it, dude. There's no use. Tornado's gonna be dicked. Yeah, the death server is open. Vigan uh, maybe, but I don't think he has it. Yeah, hilarious, dude. Yeah, it probably just loses to the 21 bis, but... 
want to try it. Area, come on, bro. I wonder if I can do the same thing I was just doing. Because I am going to be hella quick. I don't really like the amount of separation that I have. Because that engine is absolutely disgusting. Yep, there he comes. The thing is, if he slams his elevator to chase me up, uh, which most players in Arrow B are going to be doing, then I will just bleed his speed without an issue. Now let's see if I can detach his wings for him. Nah, he doesn't do it. He's not dumb enough. Alright, we're gonna do the big gamer strat. Which is a zero throttle air brake and then not die. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. God damn it. Fucking giga cringe. Stop asking me about tanks, dude. I am literally an Arabi creator. I don't have the Strike Master, so I couldn't tell you. China got nothing in terms of ammo. Yeah, I will cover it, but I need to get it first. I'm not looking forward to it, though. This doesn't work. I lose too much speed if I do it. And if I don't... If I do it slowly, then he just gets an angle and he gets to sit on me. So, whatever I do, I kind of take the L. It's also a 21 base. Like, you're not supposed to dogfight this thing. I mean, look at that turning circle that he's getting. Like, I can try to rate... Yeah, he just said it. I can try to rate him, but... I think he's just gonna kind of float inside of my circle. Because I don't go fast enough. This is not gonna work. Is he really though? Guess he always oh, not a min fuel. Yeah, that's fair, I guess. I don't know. I'm kind of gaining, but also not. 
Nah, this is not tornado syndrome. It's the opposite of a tornado. A tornado doesn't lose speed and it doesn't turn. And this thing does turn okay, but it loses a lot of speed. Try using the combats in a raid fight, yeah. Sure, I'll pull into him for a little bit, but will it maintain my... Sure, I get a shot here, but I'm just gonna not take it. See if the combats actually improve the raid. I mean, he's also just falling out of the air at this point. Yeah, I know some do. I'll try with uh, flat from the start this time. Landing flaps. Yeah, I know Seek, it's just whenever someone says that to me, I instantly discard it because, you know, you know how the average commenter is. You should know as well as I do. I have like four videos on the 21 bits, yeah. So yikes. Yeah, that does improve it a lot. Holy fuck, my aim is terrible. It also didn't really want to like adjust, but that was also just 90% skill issue. There I just couldn't pull in. But okay, if I miss this, I'm just bad. Okay, good. Beat MiG 21s, I think yes and no. It will probably burn me, yeah. is that he will not lose nearly as much speed as he did with the MiG-21. So he's gonna get a shot here and we're gonna be in a real game too slow to dodge. But we merge anyway. On 20 minutes of fuel it might actually be pretty close. That's kind of sus. Yeah, this kind of shot 
I should be able to, yeah, he's dead. Didn't shoot this time to see what happens if I don't shoot, if I don't kill him. Then I think I have this quite easily. Might also be mackerel, I don't know, but... Yeah, he doesn't get a counter-attack and I get to attack for free again. Let's try that again. Uh, runner's pretty good. Vok is busted. Okay, calm down is not that good. He knows what he's doing, Bagel. He's doing his best. Tell him to not go for the call. Ja. Yeah. Sure. Oh, okay. Too much air away. Yeah, I'm gonna run six M9Bs or whatever missile it gets. You can run six in a gun, I believe. And again, this is gonna be an absolute L head on. Not one you wanna take. I also don't have radar missiles, and he does. But he's also on 20 minutes of fuel, I'm on 40, I'm not sure how big the offset really is there. But with this kind of fuel load, I just absolutely slam him. Unless of course I fuck it up, but... This is not about skill issues, this is about playing performance. But this is a big Omega lull. Uh, fuel consumption is retarded. It's uh, it absolutely slurps it. F14 is gonna rinse this thing. No question. For whatever you just DM me, J Black, you are correct. F5V is also just gonna slam it. Turns too well. Keep in mind, and when we do this, he gets a pretty hefty advantage in the head on. Because he is going faster than us, he gets angle first, and he has radar missiles on top of it. But I think on minfield he should be able to just turn inside of us. We'll see though. We are kind of sitting inside of him, but he's also turning much tighter. Now if we do the exact same thing, he's probably gonna get guns on. Or maybe not. Okay, he is not dead actually, couldn't shoot. Shouldn't have pulled in my combat flap, so I made a pretty big mistake. And we're still gonna end up on his ass. I have 2000 rounds and I'm not afraid to use them. That was nowhere near him. 
Wick, you can stop coping about mackerel. Because he's probably doing a better job than you would. Yeah. I could have killed him by the way, I'm just kind of sitting on him. That's not gonna work. Uh, this is Minfield. Already more equal in the merge. And that was without combat flaps. I'll show you. Yeah, another equal head on. And now he dies. I'm pretty sure. No chance. As I told you, it doesn't matter. He is doing the correct thing by going vertical. Because all he gets now is head-ons. Thank you. Much appreciated. That's a tree. That sounded a lot cockier than I meant it to be. I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm just really, uh, I get these comments all the time, and yes, they do kind of get on my nose, but thank you for at least admitting it. Like everything we do, and this is not towards you, but like everything that we do, it's always you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to do this, and it's always without any backup and it, 9 out of 10 times it ends up being wrong it's like Mac point one three. let's see straight vertical yeah, that's a lot more of an L I don't even get a shot this time <laughs> He's gonna get another shot here. Yeah. Straight vertical is big L. Uh, uh, 23 slams it. I can raid these guys. This is probably not gonna work, by the way. Yeah, the F1 is gonna be dicked. No contest. Maybe F8. Yeah, the 5e will slam it, but I wanna see how badly. I'll be back in a minute.
My throat is killing me. This is gonna be massive LPOV, by the way. I'm pretty sure the tornado gets slammed by this. Maybe it can kind of hang with it because it's like the tornado becomes decent at the speed that this thing is decent at. But I don't expect it to uh, win very well. Do not underestimate uh, the landing flaps and shit on the tornado. It actually turns really well. It just it takes forever to get there. And by the time you get there, you've lost all your position. Yeah, this is a massive L. I do not think this is sustainable, by the way. Yeah, there he comes. Please don't shoot me yet. Yes, it's the plane, not the pilot, but he is about to cut into me right here already. Uh, yeah, that's another L. He's probably gonna shoot, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> yeah, he's going faster than that. This is uh, completely over. But it's not like... Like, it's bad, but it's not like... Completely trash, you know? Now we're gonna do something that he will never expect. And it's totally going to... I'm dead, aren't I? Maybe not. Okay, we reversed it. I'm now on his six. As we are rating, I'm gonna pour myself a glass of drink. And he'll eventually just get on my ass. Which is incredible. I'm forced to go up into this. And the second I get slow, I'm dead. But with a little bit of luck, I might be able to, for a brief second, perhaps. Yeah, it's fucking over. I'm never pulling into this. No contest at all. It is indeed the most engaging raid fight gameplay because I'm doing it one handed while I'm pouring myself a drink. Uh, what's another one? F1C probably gets dicked. Uh, if he has it. Try a tornado. CL13 Mark 6, you are actually taking the base. Uh, what's the other one? Harry is gonna. No, not, that doesn't work. I mean, I've slammed the F4E on min fuel. Any other Phantom is gonna be dicked. No contest. Can try SU17, I guess. He doesn't have uh, his uh, Swedish stuff. Let's just wait for the game to run up. The F8 will probably just win. MiG-19 is gonna slam it too. Of 
Voor F14 wil toe turnen. No contest. Ja, yeah, F5C might be a good one. Because it doesn't have the, the power. The CL13B is one of those planes that will shit on essentially everything in a dogfight. So, at least every supersonic. So it's really no, no contest. The 21 bis gets uh, slammed in the raid fight. Other than that, the bis wins. I don't. The J7 is gonna uh, gonna absolutely rinse this thing. No contest. Absolutely no contest. Oh, I hate that chat spamming stuff. It's still there. Yeah, I'm just testing planes in a dogfight. Yeah, the J8 won't be too far off the 21 bis. It might be a bit better early because it can like pull in tighter. But I'm pretty sure it loses the rate fight even harder. The 29 SMT will probably, it might actually lose it. Other than the fact it has the uh, R73s of course. But All right, let's see. Let's not rip our wings off again. All right, that's good. We survived the merge somewhat. Okay, we get equal. I get a bit. Let the shot a little bit earlier. I'm looking at chat too much, but I think I'm just pulling in. Yeah. Lemo. First loop. Or first. First rate loop. And I'm already on him. But he has more power. Do not forget that. So we might be able to go a little bit vertical. But I do outrate him. But I think when he does that. I might actually have a little bit of an issue. Hello. You can't call yourself Nightmare and then wish people a good day. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, this is actually... If he goes vertical like that, I actually can't do much. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. So true. Look at that. He started accelerating much later than us, and he is still catching me. He has much more energy than us. We do outrate him. But if he like starts actually maneuvering instead of just holding one key, we actually have a little bit of an issue. Let's see if I can just get on his ass. The answer is I doubt it. I'm doing a lot of speed very quickly here, trying to get a shot in.
and he knows how I fly, like we are very accustomed to each other. It's kind of hard to surprise him at this point. Why should it be nerfed, man? It's not that good. Like, does this look insane to you? I'm being out dogfiled by an SU-70. I'm not really, but also I am. Okay. It's kind of rough. It kind of sucks for both of us. This is sussy. But I might be able to... Nope. Can't pull any harder than I did there, so... Once I get position on him, he's gonna have a pretty bad time. Just because I actually, I turned better than him. But he can get on me uh, by like, using his energy. But energy doesn't really help you out that much in the position he finds himself in right now. You see, I have 1000 rounds. I can just kind of... After all that spraying, like I'm not trying to be ammo conservative. I still have 800 rounds. I now have the same amount of ammo as most of the top tiers when they spawn in. After all that spraying. See, I turn better than him. The only thing is that he has energy. But I can't pull in enough and my lead is terrible at the moment. But I hope you can tell that I can just sit inside of him. And that's L. was terrible but hey dub is a dub Okay, I have the advantage in the head on because I uh, have a much better gun for that. Too high. You can tell that he's basically always faster than us, but I just pull inside of him. I 
I don't want to like stall after him because I don't turn at all at low speed. The issue is if I don't go after him, he just stalls me out. So it's kind of quick Vox summary. It's fast, turns okay at low speed, and it absolutely pisses its energy away at high speed. That seems quite okay. It's the fastest plane in the game right now on the deck. Well, let's hope I can pull in here. Keep getting closer. You see, he actually replies to what I'm doing. This is what you don't see in actual games. Top speed with a full bomb load isn't very high because it rips his wings off. That's the main issue, really. Yeah, he just flies away now. He has me on his trap. Incredible. The gun is on the wing. Look at that. I have two guns. It has the energy to just keep going over my wings and then I can't really contest. But now he's playing it so slow that I can just equalize, but he has position. And I can just run from him. This is the kind of the same scenarios with like the MB5. I don't, uh, don't know how to aim this gun anymore at long range, man. I'm just gonna hope he flies into it. But he doesn't. He's not dumb enough. Like, the ballistic changes beyond, like, 600 meters make it absolute, an absolute bitch to aim now. This range, though, I shouldn't miss too much. Okay, I can't next G because I have my wings out. There's too much lift, actually. I used to be able to just, like, slam people from 800 meters in these kind of shots. But with, like, the new ballistics... Well, not really new. They've been there for a while. It's just super fucking annoying. I hate mackerel so fucking much, man. I have no idea. Like, I can hit him here. Like, can I even... It does not have a fucking gun computer. Mac is not listening to you. He has been trying this the entire time, but I made a mistake. Otherwise, he would have been dead already. If I could aim right now, then he would have been dead. Oh, 
Of course. The issue is that he just goes too fast. It's very hard to get nose on. Yeah, it goes super quick and then it suddenly goes 200 meters a second. No, it's not a skill issue day. That's just how I am nowadays with long range shots. I used to be able to just slam people from a kilometer and a half. If you compare my old montages to this, you should know. Like the, the drag change, that's really fucked my aim up. No, F5C hasn't been tested, we're doing that now. Why they gave it 30 minutes or 40 minutes of fuel? Because like after 12 seconds it's out of fuel. So yeah, first turn he's gonna turn in much harder because it's an F5A, not an F5E. He's gonna get the shot again here. tighter but he's going slower also am I doing something different no I'm on combat He did battle though. If he hadn't gone vertical, I would have killed him. But he's also minfield, not on 20. So I think it's actually winnable. I don't want to drop below like 450 basically, because if I do that I just turn like an absolute shit brick. You want to keep this thing somewhat quick. And if you don't, you die. Oh, I get his six. So now he can't really do the vertical thing he was doing the last time around. He can do it somewhat, but not as effective. I don't want to follow that, but I kind of have to.
it's not a fight I would gladly take. But I think it's one that is potentially winnable. If you get past the first merge, essentially. Like, if you merge from, like, side aspect or behind, I think you can actually kill him. My mom is not winnable. She's the biggest walking L on this planet. But he probably has me here because he has much, 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 much better soul control. Can I get over his nose is the question. The answer is yes. So unlucky. Or rather, that's a massive skill issue. Can I get out of his nose? I don't think I can. Wait, maybe. Get a bit more separation this time around. You it. Let's go. Ugh. That's good. Because you're going to see a lot of those planes. It's definitely a tough fight. But it is winnable. Emmy one six three, yeah, very funny. Also very funny. Mirage three, I already did. F one five is gonna be clapped. Lightning is gonna be clapped. He doesn't have the AJ thirty seven. Twenty mid twenty seven maybe. F8 does not have a bad raid. Hunters will get clapped. Lin 5P will shit on it. Fuel consumption is close to the F14B. He doesn't have the tornado, my guy. He doesn't have the Kafir. MLD slams it. No contest. Distinct strength is the rate. And the rate of the MLD just absolutely slams it. Mirage 2000 will slam it. No contest. Mate, do, do people even listen to what I say? 
Like you've been saying the same planes for the last five minutes. It's not happening. I don't have them, or he doesn't have them, or we've already tested them. I'm not sure if this is winnable, however. Maybe, but we'll see. I think I'll just out energy. Me. Maybe not. I'm surprising. I'm closer than I would like, I thought I would be. But he is now pulling away from me again. Let's see in the next turn. Transitioning. Won't get a shot, so stay behind. Don't slam into the ground, so let's use a bit of flap, shall we? Can't really follow that, but I have to. He has much more energy than me though, in those maneuvers. I can't really transition out of this, because if I do I die. I think he might pull out of this, to pull this one off. I'm not sure though. I'm gonna transition into the 28 circle. And do the koala gambit. What we're doing right here is basically raid. It's like uh, the speed you settle at in this kind of maneuver. Like we both have set speeds or our minimum speeds in these kind of turns. And in that minimum speed you have a certain rate, which is the amount of degrees you are turning. And if my rate is higher, I will eventually get on the 6 or vice versa. F8 stalls bad, but so does this thing. A Zeppelin Tech Tree. I'm not sure how to think about that. But he is gaining speed on me. And I cannot follow that into the, into the vertical right now. Yeah, he's very slowly gaining. If I go up with him, uh, I get a very bad stall. And he just instantly slams me. But I'll show you what happens if I don't follow it. Because I've been saying that I'm forced to follow it. If I don't, this happens. He asked me where the ball's here. I can go up over the nose, probably. Maybe just not. Yeah, not. The, uh... Yeah, it is pretty... Pretty sleeper. So, the thing is with this plane, 
it turns quite okay between 500 to 700 kilometers an hour. Above it, it doesn't maintain speed. Below it, it basically, it doesn't really stall, but because it's so heavy, I think it's about uh, the technical term would be like the wing loading. Like this thing is so heavy that if I get too slow, I basically don't have enough airflow to sustain the turn. And then I just get clapped because I am forced to stay on the deck and he can just kind of go up and down and do whatever the hell he wants. And he will gain angles on me because I am forced to maintain the same road. It's like trying to, it's at 11.3. Uh, it's like the same thing with, uh, wait, it's 10.3? Oh, 10.3, I'm sorry. So the thing is, because I'm forced to keep going straight, it's like someone is running away from you and he just runs straight. But because you're not directly behind him, you can just kind of cut him off. It's that kind of, uh, kind of deal. It's kind of a weird plane. But I think for Aero B, it's okay. It doesn't have the best acceleration, as I said. It's not the best at super low speed. It's not very good at super high speed. But it's very controllable and it's very aimable. And it's super fast. It's the fastest plane on the deck right now in the entire game. And it's at 10.3. So this thing will outrun essentially everything it will run into. And it can sustain a, f a turn fight somewhat with people. So I think it's going to be quite okay. Sure, the missiles are shit, but you do have 2,000 rounds of a Vulcan. I mean, they might nerf the maneuverability, but it doesn't feel bullshit. Uh, it rips at like 1620. The, the thing is, right, with an F-104, sure, this thing is faster, but... Mine, I'll show you actually. I'll show you in an actual fight. And I hope that you saw it like in the... Oh wait, I'll actually... Before I forget. Like you saw in the fight, right? At high speed. It loses a lot of speed very quickly. So when you get this thing on your ass in an F-104. All you have to do is just kind of... Roll around. Make some maneuvers. And this thing will bleed its speed very quickly. It won't accelerate particularly well. And the F-104 can just run away again. The issue is... Uh, it's going to be very annoying to deal with. Yeah, you heard it correctly. I mean, yellow, sure. But those 6,000 rounds are all used at the same time. So I don't think it's that fair to say it. I don't think it's fair to say 6,800 rounds. Because you shoot multiple guns at once. Yeah, and a large caliber flare. So they're actually pretty decent. Uh, the MLD absolutely slams it. I think it's uh, better, is worse than the MiG-23 and but we haven't tried. That's just uh, a guess from my end. Uh, I would take 9Bs. Easily. One. I mean, 9Bs are nice if you like have people stalled out and you can use them for like people that aren't paying attention. I have never pronounced my name on my channel and I will never do so. It's a guessing game. Everyone has been calling me Devin. Is it correct? No. <laughs> but what is it? I don't know. Yeah, the FRE loses first of this. But uh, at high speed, the FRE gets the two first turns. No, I said that people call me Devin. I've said that what people call me, but I've never said what it actually is. I've done it once on stream, not in a video. It's called uh, Freek the Derde. Damn, it's so hot in here. One sec. Ugh. I am fucking boiling.
And to give you an idea about the speed bleed, we take off with 40 minutes. I'm already on 25. Should we do another tunnel run? Uh, I don't like the name of this guy. Oh, there's a lot of players in this match. Okay, so the issue with the Vark is gonna be the lack of top end acceleration. Or just acceleration in general. And the speed bleed at high speed. So once I am locked into a fight with someone, I'm not really able to get out of it. And if I do, you look at my speed bleed right now. Okay, I f did I flare? Yep, I did flare. Incredible. I love when you pre-flare and they are 60 you through it. Oh, I didn't take 45 minutes, that's why it was so low. I'm not gonna reveal my face or my physique. New map seems pretty good. How much money are you willing to bet that my name is Devin? My cat died, unfortunately, so I cannot reveal it anymore. You see that on the bottom? It doesn't have a tube. It has a parachute if you hold J for long enough. But No, I've, n I've not tried uh, kidnapping a scientist. I've tried to summon a demon though, but all it did was summon a demon. And then it ate my mother. So win in the end anyway. Win in the end anyway. Let's just fucking... Let's do another tunnel run where we slam into the wall. I've done one in the MiG-29. Well, let's see if I can do one in this one. Netherlands. And look at the speed bleed. It's ridiculous. No bedtime, you're right. Oh, this camera is gonna fuck me up. I need that sign. What? What? Okay. Pretty good. Not sure what the fuck happened there, but hey. Hey! <laughs> I don't know what the fuck happened. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I've done it in the MiG-29, but... I don't know what happened. Wait, let me actually watch the stream back. Because I have... It's like I got sucked into the ground. Is there a bump there? No, right? Let me... 
I start like drifting. Yeah, I'm just flying straight. Was I losing altitude? Don't think I was. I gained altitude and I started drifting. Make it make sense, people. Oh, no, not flying that. Make it make sense. It was the demon, you are correct. It's indeed a skill issue. I should buy my uh, skill issue sweater and mug from the store link in the description. Shameless plug. I know the pricing is a bit rough. It's. Uh, I wish I could make it lower, but I kind of. I can't. <laughs> That's the main issue. I'm not allowed to. Because they ask like a minimum price, otherwise they don't make money. So I'm forced to make everything super fucking expensive. I'm not a fan of it either. <laughs> You're right. Uh, I run no missile. Oh. Oh. You know what? This is quicker. Okay. <laughs> I forgot that you can't belly land from the opposite side of the runway. You can belly land at like 900 kilometers an hour if you, if you come in from the other side. But if you touch down at like 350, 400 from the quote unquote intended way, you just instantly blow up. <laughs> I think that's a great way to uh, end today. It's getting late. I am tired. I am probably going to go to bed. I uh, might make a video for tomorrow. Perhaps a day later. Otherwise Monday. Monday you're probably going to get a MiG-19S video. Otherwise, it might be a prop. I'll still have to see. I haven't flown the Yak-23. Let me, let me actually look. Alright, I'll let everyone in the chat decide. You can choose from... You can choose from Yak-28, Yak-15P, Yak-3U, MiG-19S, ME-163A0, the 30mm one... The ME262A2, the LA7, the J, pardon me, J32B, J7E, Hurricane with the 40 millimeters, and that's it. I mean, it's all gonna come out eventually, anyway, right? I got an 8 kill game in the Hurricane with the 40 millimeters, And I only killed one Bozo with the 40s. The rest was with the two 7 mils. Which was pretty funny. <laughs> one without landing, obviously. I don't have a Yak-23. At the moment, YouTube is my job, yes. I took a little bit of a break. All right. Uh, floor routers. It's uh, it's not about what I want. I've already flown all of these planes, right? So I have the videos essentially done. So I can just choose what I upload. It's not that I still have to play or whatever. I can just click one of the videos, record it real quick, and then it's out of the door. Yeah, I think the MiG-19 one as well. Which is good because that's the video I had done for today. Yeah, I played, uh, I finished three videos yesterday in the span of three hours, Lamau. And then on Wednesday, 
I've finished now on uh, last Sunday. I finished five videos in one evening, so I've basically completed my content for three weeks in two days. All my little. Uh, Peel Five uh, performed quite well. The annoying thing is, right? Like you, you might know, it's another YouTuber, and every time I have a video done. He will upload the video that I'm about to upload a day before I do. And then I need to re-record everything because I need to get another video out. Because I don't want to publish the same thing three days in a row, three videos in a row. Because then it's like, oh, you're copying him. I don't want that. So I'm going out of my way to not copy him. And then I still get messages saying, why are you copying him? So you, you can't win. And no, I'm not saying who it is. We ain't doing that today. I do not have contact with uh, Spitflyer now. Uh, because the MiG-19 PT and the J6A are identical and I've made more videos on those. So I want to go for the MiG-19S. Because that's longer ago. It's not Old Bars. Old Bars and his plane videos, right? Because I don't want to. It's that easy. Uh, yeah, I will do the F8F1B again. Uh, because it actually got buffed. It uh, doesn't overheat as bad anymore. You don't know if his videos are worse than mine, because you don't know who I'm talking about. Uh, the Battle Pass plane is not in the game right now. Yeah, the, the rudder is still shit. I'm not saying yes or no to any questions about who it is, so you can say it all day long. Always good to hear that uh, you support me that way, or however. Yeah, it's not a flying time bomb anymore, but I am a killjoy indeed. That's my, my middle name, actually. Uh, I'll make a cozy. I'm making a MiG-19S video right now. They fly essentially identical. Uh, the issue with the MiG-19s, right? And I'll say this in the video as well, because I've already recorded it. It's really good. And the issue is it takes very long to kill people, because it's not good at high speed. And if you have a team alive, everyone will steal. Or steal. You will just bait everyone for your team. And if your team isn't there, you can't really kill seven people at once. Because you don't have the ability to stay... F you can stall them all out at once, but you won't be really able to kill them all. Uh, J7E to 10-7? Hell no. The Pure Mursky is one of my favorite props in the game. I would definitely say. The 163? Video on that very soon as well. Flight in the 4 stack. Very viable. Yeah, I run it with the rocket ports. Uh, I've also been flying this, as you can see. Uh, so I'm been f I've been flying it with the rocket pods, and they work surprisingly well against AIM-9Ls and SU-25. So it's not really an issue. Uh, yeah, I have grinded some. I'll show you. So with America, I have a decent amount of uh, tanks. Germany is a bit fifty-fifty. I have some things here old. I have this one because I requested it. I haven't grinded these two. Russia, I've done all on my own. This is probably my most quote unquote decked out tank tree. Britain, not much. Japan, nothing. China, that's the new thing. So I don't actually have it. The new things, I don't have anything here. France, I have nothing. Sweden, I have <laughs> only the STLVs. And Israel, I also have nothing. Like, if you look at my tanks. Uh, where is it? Like, if you look at my tanks, I haven't played them much. It's mostly premium, talisman, premium, premium. Uh, event tank, premium, premium. Uh, that's about all the premiums. So, I haven't really grinded that much. 
But everything I played in tanks was either with a talisman or a premium tank. Piss roll, you are right. It's not about the stats, it's about the amount of games I've done. Wait, where the fuck is my... Oh, I6 is there. See, I'm an I6 abuser. That's how it be. SU-22 is an L-mobile. Can't really say anything else. Oh, wait. Yeah, I need to look at some helis, actually. Uh, I wanted to look at this thing because it got the spikes, right? I wish you had a button to just buy everything. But you know, you can't win them all, I guess. Uh, are these missiles any good? Which one should I take? Mm, I would say the Yak 3 is better, but the LA7 is a bit faster. Yeah, I got the GE for uh, for the Death Server. I don't, <laughs> I don't actually have that much. Don't worry about it. What's the difference between these? Oh, the amount. Wow. And it's indeed first world problems. You are completely correct. Looks funny though. Uh, I think the F-11 is fine. Uh, the J-25XS is pretty good, yeah. Ooh. Can we just uh, slam everything? Ah, oh, yes, I love tank obby. Oh man, I just love playing tank obby, people. It's fantastic. Yippee. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. I love tank obby people. I missed one. That's a skill issue, isn't it? Yay, tank obby! <laughs> I wanna try that once more. I love heli gameplay as well. Let's try it once more, but not fuck it up this time, shall we? Utmost concentration. Incredible. I love tank hobby. Can you bring Spike along with Hellfire? I have no idea actually. We also have this thing of course. That's a fast missile. Kill him. Fuck him. All right. Does it have the range for that? Because I'm going pretty slow right now. Oh yeah, it does. Without an issue. This is indeed dopamine simulator. Uh, yeah, the thing is, every dev server in the history of dev servers, the cannons felt different. So, 
never take the death server damage as you're given. Because every death server, it either feels worse or it feels better. And then the life patch comes out and it's the exact fucking same. It could be different. And yes, it feels worse at the moment. But every death server is like that. It's either better or worse. Uh, IAR81. EA, uh, IA it's an absolute dog shit mobile and I don't want to play it. But I will try it. <coughs> I'm not trolling. That's just how it is. It's always like that. It's always been like that. Yeah, I'll be I'll be flying that six jet as a fighter. I'm not looking forward to it. Someone wants me to get an A's in it. He made a challenge run. Yeah, I need to play the Rado C, but I haven't gotten around to it. Uh, yeah, I can try that. I mean, I'm not sure what what's there to say about this. Good for eight kills. You're right. You're right. I got uh, eight kills with half the ammo of this thing, and that's uh, half the ammo. So I should be able to get uh, twenty-four kills. Yeah, it's the, the Strike Master or whatever the shit it's called. It's the uh, Battle Pass thing. Actually, a unique vehicle for once. Yeah, it, it took me... Uh, I got 8 kills with this plane without with only one forty mil hit. I killed everyone with the 8 millimeters, and I still had half my ammo left. So if you then look at the 6.0 jet, which has 1100 rounds, which has double the ammo of this thing, and I did it with... Two thirds the ammo of this one, you can say I can get about 24 kills with one ammo load on the Strike Master. That's how it works, right? The fact that I'm shooting biplanes going 12 kilometers an hour it doesn't affect it at all. Uh, the MiG 29 feels okay as long as you're not flying the SMT. Top tier Chinese and look at the BR. That's the same, 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 and that's the same. There is one thing actually that I haven't looked at. It's still gonna be an absolute L mobile, but you can now play with six missiles instead of two. But you still don't have flares at 10.3, so you're still gonna eat shit. Incredible, isn't it? It's now good or something. Uh, just Google it, Dev Server War Thunder, and it's the first link basically. And then just follow the the steps. Mike Goes Boom also made a video on that. Uh, Taiwanese already had it, right? Oh no, it's four. Yeah, the Taiwanese doesn't have it. Uh, the MiG-29. These two MiG-29s are virtually the same. But it gets the R-73s. The SMT and the G are not the same at all. Yeah, it's British, which means it's, uh, it's bad. That's how it works. Uh, the J2M2 FM change hasn't gone on the server yet, I think, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. Yeah, I will try the Battle Pass jet, but it's not in the game right now. I can't look at it. The 29G is going to be better than the SMT. By a long shot. I'm not sure what it gets stock, though. I didn't look at it. I think R60 MK is then. I'm not sure. It's going to be shit, Master, you are right. 
Um, Wyvern is, I think, still too low for Beyond. Best nation? I would say either Russia or USA. If only they gave US the jets we made, which are good. The F-16C and the F-14A are both the top three best planes in the game. So I think you're fine. Well, yeah. Oh, you meant us as in... You're British. Yeah, I thought you meant US. Because the amount of people that cope about US not getting good vehicles, it's like... Bruh. Okay, I agree with you that the Nat would be a pretty good plane. But I don't want it in the game. Why? Because every time you get a lobby with this piece of shit in it, you want to kill yourself. The net is better than this thing, and I don't want to deal with some ratty ass small plane that can dogfight 12 people at once and still holds its speed. To be more of them in the game. I do not need that in my life. We have plenty of those shit planes in the game already. 163s, Key 200, Ariettes, the Sagittarios, the uh, BI-1. They're all the same piece of shit planes that no one wants to deal with. I don't want to see more of them. And it would probably be hella fun to play. But it would be absolute aids to play against unless you have an all aspect missile. And then... It's not fun to play for the other party anymore. So like who wins? No one wins. Absolute rat mobiles is what we call them. But yeah. That's all folks. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hop into the discord. And I'll see you all probably Monday. And goodbye.